All right, how's it going, everybody? This is Trainer Connor, and it's time for my very first Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video. Thank you guys for coming to this match right here. Make sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe as well, because I will be I will be posting a lot more content. Uh, even though I'm starting out relatively slowly here, I'm not going with the game yet. Just have to get through the, the battle tree and other post-game shenanigans, I must say. So, bear with me. I'm enjoying the game, and, you know, I've, I've been busy too, so that's kind of why I haven't been posting a lot on the channel as of recently. But for right now, we've got a really fun match. It's a match between myself and my brother here, uh, it's an in-game team, so it's not really competitive, but at the same time, it kind of is, but, you know, I kind of do start out like that, you know, you, you just you gather your in-game teams, and you fight, and then we'll see who wins. So on my side here, I'm using a little nine tails. My starter Pokemon Premiere, Primarina, that's how you say it. Might get used to that. Um, I'm not used to those names yet, apparently. But, uh, Solgolio. Solgolio is the legendary for Sun version. And then Mega, Alakazam, then Mugsail. Toe Cannon. So Toe Cannon, I was always surprised about that one because I wasn't spoiled for it. Uh, so... When I saw it, I was like, wow, this thing is good, so. And then, uh, my opponent, Brett, my brother, uh, he has Magnezone, he's got Elspeon, he's got Toe Cannon as well, he's got Gyarados, he's got his legendary, Lunala, and then, uh, his starter Pokemon, the Fire-type, Incineroar. So, this should be a really fun match, hope you guys enjoy this, and, uh, let's get to the match. Alright, here we go. All right, so we're back. My opponent is going to start off with Magnezone, and I will be choosing to lead out Ninetales, a low end form. Uh, a lot of people are confused what type it is. It's actually an Ice Fairy type, so Flash Cannon might hurt a little bit. So I'm going to switch on this Solgolio, which is a Psychic Scale type. Uh, my opponent does switch out also. He goes into his starter, uh, Incineroar. Now, I go for a Cosmic Power. I wasn't really sure what he would do here. I wasn't sure he knew what type Solgolio was. And we kind of see that, because he goes for Outrage. Not going to be very effective. Psychic Steel is a very interesting typing. I am relatively uh, confused as to why they chose that typing for Solgolio. Because he's part of the sun, like, you'd think he'd be a fire type, but... Anyways, so, we're going to show off Solgolio's signature move, Sun Skill Strike, right here. And that is looking really boss. Like, it, it's insane. But it's not very effective to Incineroar, which is a little unfortunate. I actually did that on purpose, because my brother, you know, since he doesn't know the typings yet... I might as well do the same, because it's like, yeah, it balances out. But he does switch out into Gyarados. Full Metal Body kind of blocks out the Intigamate there, as you can see happen. And we got to use another Sun Steel Strike. Look at that animation. It's just so awesome. It does a lot of damage to Gyarados. Who resists it? I don't want him to get a free setup opportunity. Um, so I stay in. We're going to go with a crunch this time. It's not going to do very much, but it does something, so I guess I can't really complain. He goes for his own crunch, which sucks because I am weak to that move, being a psychic, a psychic type, so. I'm going to go for a Zen Headbutt, thinking that it might be a little bit stronger, but we don't take out Gyarados. And then we get to the wire here. Who's going to go down first? And it's going to be Gyarados, so... Um, at this point, though, Sogolio will be at mercy, because I'm at little health and whatnot. Uh, he goes for a bite, 
anger. It's really entertaining to see Espiano speed a solo, yeah. That is something. So I'm gonna go into Lauren Ninetales. My opponent thought he would be slower than Lauren Ninetales. He's wrong, but it's okay. I just go for a faint attack. He went for the morning. Sun fails, but uh, that's fine. He goes to Psychic, and that does a lot of damage. I speed, and I'm hoping for a freeze or something. We don't get that, unfortunately, but it's okay. Another Psychic is going to take us out. Nine Tails is really frail, um, now that I think about it. I'm going to go with Kill Cannon. Kill Cannon, I was not spoiled for that one. Uh, I, I really like his signature move in the form of Beak Blast. Uh, it's two turns, but you heat up your beak, and you kind of... If your opponent strikes with a physical move, they have, like, 100% to use, or to get burned, rather, uh, which is pretty cool. You don't see that very often from anyone else other than Toe Cannon. Uh, but anyway, so I'm expecting an electric type move from Magnazone. I expect that. So I, I go into Mudsail, who's a ground type. We're going to use high horsepower. Doesn't really do much to Lunala. Lunala is a psychic, uh, uh, what is it? Psychic ghost. I'm still trying to get used to the typings, guys, so bear with me. We get to see Lunala's signature move, Moongeist Beam, which is really cool. I'm not going to complain. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to go for an Earthquake this time, because I, I believe Earthquake is stronger than high horsepower. Unfortunately, you know, Lunala is really bulky, so and combine that with Shadow Shield, which is basically the same thing as Dragon Knight's multi-scale from last generation. We're going to trace it with Alakazam, so um, I was able to get the Alakazite from one of the characters in the game, so I was able to get that, and I can Mega Evolve during battle, so we get to use Mega Alakazam, get the Trace ability, get Shadow Shield, so we'll be able to take one move from Lunala, guaranteed, unless it's a critical hit or something like that. We get to see another Moongeist beam. Uh, comment down below which move you like better, uh, Sunsteel Strike or Moongeist beam. They look very really similar, so. And if you're wondering, why am I going for a grass knot? Uh, psychic wouldn't do very much because Lunala is part psychic, so I'm limited to using only grass knot for now. Now, I knew I couldn't do much to Incineroar, also just because it's a dark type. We got to see Darkest Area. We're gonna go for a future site, and that's going to come into play later in the match. So, yes, be on the lookout for that. Now is a good time to go into my starter, Primarina. It's hard to say for some reason. Uh, Primarina's move, Sparkling Aura, is going to wipe out Incineroar. Just like that, because, you know, good typing matchup and everything like that. Uh, Co-Cannon is here. Co-Cannon, guys, is it's really good, I gotta say. So I'm gonna go for a Moonblast. I think he's gonna go for a Bullet see if he does. Uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna see Beak Blast, which is just an incredible move. I'll make sure we get that in one of my videos sometime. Uh, soon, so. Uh, Bullsey kicks four times, doesn't KO my starter Pokemon, and there you go, we got the, we got the future site working here. Unfortunately, he's got Magnazone left, I need to KO it, so we're gonna use our Z-Power. Uh, Z-Power is, uh, a new, you know, mechanic in the new generation where you get to use like a really strong move to the typing that you're uh, using. So water type Pokemon will be using like, well for this particular Pokemon from Marina, it gets to use Oceanic uh, Operata. You get to see what this does. Look at this. It looks just so awesome, right? Unfortunately, Magnazone does have Sturdy, uh, but anyway, uh, yes, every Pokemon in the game has a key or a, a stone of some kind to the type that, they're, that they are, and uh, you can use like a really powerful move. So, 
you know, electric type news get it, uh, water types, fire types, all the types get that. So it's really cool. We're going to see uh, Magnazone use his electric type uh, Z move being Giga Volt Havoc. Look at this. This is insane uh, stuff right here, man. Um, unfortunately, I will be knocked out here. I'm really surprised that Magnazone got to spite me, for one thing. I'm not sure if. Uh, Z moves kind of take speed into account, but I'm not sure. But anyway, so that was such a great battle. That was a great match from me and my brother. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, I'm not sure when my next video is going to be out. I will do my very best on completing uh, the post game and get some items going. I'll be breeding for a few days. So I might go on the showdown a little bit. Kind of test out a few things. But uh, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the match and I'll see you in the next one. All right, take care, trainers.